we're always concerned about a baby that turns John, especially if it's the second or third week of life. Sometimes the word about the liver collecting duct system maybe not working correctly? Yeah, um, one of the issues that you worry about in this population is something called biliary atresia. Um, and it's interesting, it's because if you think about the system of the bile tract, it starts out in the liver with two tubes that come together, and in that tract it then goes down, it joins a gallbladder, and then goes down through the pancreas into the duodenum. The duodenum is the very beginning of the intestine, right behind the stomach. So what that does is delivers the bile, which then emulsifies the fat. But here's the kicker. What happens if there is a problem with that tract, with that ability to take the bile from the liver where it's produced and deliver it into the intestine? And biliotresia is sort of like that. The tubes that come out of the liver, that tract called the bile duct, becomes somewhat scarred for reasons that are unclear, whether it was a viral illness, whether it was a congenital anomaly, whether it was because of an autoimmune or the body attacking itself. But for some reason, early on, that bile conduit is blocked. So what happens then? The liver becomes large, you have liver disease, and then you start having a problem with not passing the bile through. So how do we know this? So the child becomes jaundice. Jaundice shows up as a yellowing of the eyes or of the skin. It's because it's an increase in, in bilirubin. So what happens is one of the first things we do is we try to take a test and we look at the, at the urine and we look, it's dark, and we look at the blood levels, and the bilirubin is high. The most impressive thing, though, if you think about it, is that the stool, the stool is usually pigmented or colored, because that's the color of the bile working with bacteria down through the system. However, if the bile is not put into the system, what's going to happen to the stool? Instead of being green or brown or dark colored, it becomes pale, almost clay-like. And so a child who starts developing clay-like stools, dark urine, and high bilirubin, then all of a sudden comes into the, into the concept of why is this bile duct blocked? And then you have to start entertaining a concept of biliary atresia. And when we do think about biliary atresia, there are a couple of things that we do. One is we want to see what the liver looks like and what the bile tract looks like. So we'll get something called an abdominal ultrasound, and we'll look for that. One of the other things we can look for is we can also do a blood test to make sure there's not a reason, like a viral illness or something, that can cause the liver to not produce the bile. What else we can do when those things work, don't work out? Well, we have something called a HIDA scan. Now, what's a HIDA scan? Well, what we do is we give uh, a substance that gets concentrated in the liver and then goes through the bile duct into the intestine. And we can market that by looking at these, so these x-rays under, um, under a nuclear medicine scan. So if that concentrated dye does not follow the normal track through the intestine and block, that's another key element of trying to find out if they have biliary atresia. What else can we do? Well, the most prominent thing you can do then is to rule it out with a liver biopsy. What we're looking for in the biopsy is, is, is very simple. If I blocked out or if I choked off the conducting system of the bile out of the liver, what's going to happen in the liver? Well, there'll be backflow of bile, they'll be scarred down, but then there'll be this proliferation or this increase of these bile ductules, these little tubes that try to make their way out of the liver. So there's some path, pathology that you can look for. So if you add in the pathology, you add in your x-ray, you add in your HIDA scan and the blood tests, at some point you're going to come to this decision tree and that's biliary atresia.